What's up, boys? How's it going? Uh, really quick one today. Nothing fancy. Um, I've just went and bought these cheap Chinese um, reservoir cap covers from eBay uh, from Nice CNC. I've actually had some stuff from this before, from these people before. Um, and they've actually been pretty decent, to be honest. And having a look over them, I've taken them out of the packaging and stuff, but taking a look over them, I'm actually fairly impressed with the quality. So, um, yeah, again, just a quick video, nothing fancy, um, but a highlight of a difference because the KTM ones are about £30 each and these are about 16 quid for all three for the brake, the uh, front rear brake and the um, clutch reservoir as well. So we're going to go add these on. Um, I'll see you in a second. Anyone else have that noise on the rotors? Very fucking annoying, this is what it is. So I did end up getting, this is uh, the same company, this is nice CNC. Um, and I got this from them a while ago, and that's been absolutely fine, and just a nice little accent piece, you know what I mean? Uh, it doesn't tell you which or which, I'm pretty sure they're the same. I don't know if they are the same, actually. They do look a little bit different, so... Now, I'm not sure if there's any difference in the two. There's a slight colour difference, actually. I don't know if you can see that. This one's a little bit lighter orange. The thread, I mean, the thread looks pretty awful in that, but they do look a little bit different, so we'll just see. Literally all we're doing here is just, just cracking this one off. Yeah, obviously you've got the, uh, look at the condensation there, it's fairly typical. And you've got the um, diaphragm on there, there's a little bit of build up, a little bit of water, in fact, whilst it's off, I may as well just, just tidy that up. So there's going to be a bit of condensation in there, just tie that up a little bit and then see if this will just fit on like this, which it does, oh god, this has happened, right, yeah, so there definitely is a size difference here, just whack this guy back on in there, again, I don't want to, I don't want brake fluid going anywhere, so yeah, there is a size difference, so just be careful of that, if you can't find the thread, Twist it backwards until it clicks. There you go, and then twist it on. Again, you're not putting a ton of pressure on this because you don't want it to. Uh, you don't want this to break off or anything. But just a nice hand tight will do for that. And that looks better already. Do you not agree? So there is a difference between the sizes in reservoirs. So just bear that in mind. Now to get this guy, we do have to get this guy out the way. Oh my back. That's twenty-five. Yeah, 25, there we go. Torx 25 for this. This is just the guard to keep that from coming off. Which is held on with some Loctite. Just place that down there, and then a rag under here. Oops, there goes that. Oh. And again, you just want to crack this off, there's no... Just be careful with this, because it is obviously free floating at this point keep it as upright as possible there you go different type of diaphragm on this and then again reverse thread it with these cheap Chinese things and then it pops on and there we go just above hand tight I have got some fluid on my hands so I'm glad I put that there just to whack this boy back on again I mean look at the metal on there that's not very good is it that's been bent in. You can see that, look at that. Obviously you can't get this back in properly. So it needs to be a hole. Come on KTM. It's a bit stupid that. Whoop. Okay, whatever. Just clean that out of there. Some metal inside there, it's not very good. Just be careful when putting this back in because you don't really want to scratch the top of it. There we go. I'm sure there's a torque spec for this somewhere but I'm just going to hand tighten this up so you can change the angle of the master cylinder there of the reservoir there if you want to keep it nice and upright and there we go that looks nice what do you think i will 
feed them in a minute because I am actually going to adjust the angle of the throttle because it's giving me a bit of cramp at the minute. This will be a T25 again, I think. Nope, T20. Yeah, they're T20. Remember, this is anodized alu al aluminium. <laughs> I almost said aluminium then. Um, so just be careful because it will scratch very easily. And again, just be careful because as soon as we take this off, that is right up to the line because I've really yammed this up uh, down quite a bit. So that's corroded already. It's nice to see. Get that through. There we go again. Corroded. That's what brake fluid does to things. There we go. Right, so that just pops off, does it? There's the breather. Oh, there's the diaphragm. Don't really want to be touching this. And you see the water build up in there already. Just give that a clean. Ah, fuck my hair. <laughs> Don't have long hair, folks. For fuck's sake. So, again, we just want to plop this back down into place. Like so. Just be as gentle as possible. Because you don't want any over spillage or anything. And then, this guy should just clip on. Before I'm going to do that, I am just going to clean up the edges here. Because brake fluid has come out of them. And then this should just pop on. So. Let's pull it back in it. Screw this down. Simple as that, really. Again, not sure of torque settings, I'm just doing it to hand tight at this point. This plastic, so you don't want to over tighten them. Just past hand tight, there you go. And that's that, there we go, that's that one done. Again, brake fluid in there, make sure they're cleaned out. I can feel it on my fingers. I can feel it in my toes. So I'm just gonna get some ACF. Just coat them a little bit. It's aluminium, it won't corrode as such. However, just for cleaning it and stuff, just whack some ACF onto here. Again, this is not really necessary, but I just like doing it. And it's a really nice cleaner as well. And then on this guy, yeah. if anyone's interested, this is the corrosion block. This is the marine version uh, for sea, for boats and stuff. I use this one over the normal stuff. A little bit of extra salt corrosion for our shitty winters here in the UK. I feel it in my penis. So all I needed to do was just undo this bolt here, or well, this screw underneath here, and I'm now able to move that throttle back and forth. Because by pulling the bars back, I have therefore increased my wrist angle in order to get things going which can be, can be a very annoying, so I'm just going to move this to, it was there, I'm going to use this line as a reference, pull that back, sit on the bike and see how that feels. That looks nice, with these new caps on, yeah it doesn't say KTM on it, but also I've not spent 60 quid, and they look great for what they are. Right, throttle, so there are my levers, could do that being a little bit higher up actually, like that. There we go. It's fine to me. Ah, fucking hell, it's happened again. Bloody hair. So we're going to move this across just a little bit. So I can then move... Oh, fuck off. So I can move this back a bit. We'll leave it at that. Hello, hazards. Cracking. Right, we'll do them up and that's that. That's it, there we go. Right. Nice. Yeah. Right, boys, there we go. Simple as that. Very easy install. You're not paying 60 to 90 pounds for KTM stuff just because it has a KTM label on it. And yeah, I'm sure the manufacturing and quality and all that's great on them, but um, I just don't have that much money to spend on some reservoir caps at the minute. Or I wouldn't actually spend that much on them if I had the money, to be honest. But they look great. They're a nice little addition. Just a little, you know, another little enhancer to the bike, really. Just in terms of looks. Uh, and it looks great. So, there you go. I'll leave a link to the company in the description. I'm not being... They're not sponsored. They're not anything. I'll pay for them myself. So, 
So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. Like I said, a nice quick one. So thank you so much for watching again. I'll see you very, very soon, I'm sure. And until the next time, boys and girls, sort them out. We'll see you soon. Goodbye.